and this morning we had such a privilege to have with us john paul dumini who is a south african cricketer a sports icon on behalf of the church we want to give him a warm welcome come on keep clapping things are happening amen i want to mahesh bhupati to give this token of appreciation to jp come on my goodness jp dumini current vice captain of south africa a t20 national cricket team he's also a team member of our favorite i don't know about you but my favorite ipl team come on kya ho gaya yaar he is playing for our favorite mumbai indian are you there come on somebody say me i said mumbai then they woke up come on Germany is married to Sue and together they have a daughter Isabella and his faith has been vibrant since he had an encounter with Jesus since 2013 when he was touring Sri Lanka I'm going to ask him to share his life very briefly and uh, you and I we count it our privilege he's not only a, a cricket icon but he is also a man of God who carries the passion of Jesus and he's serving Come on. He's not Hey listen. For a pastor this is the pulpit. For him cricket is the pulpit. Come on somebody say amen to that. Every time he wins, every time he stands there, how many of you know people are celebrating Jesus all over the world? Come on. And to his passion that God has given him is founded in foundation that serves real sincere committed people with igniting passion for young people training them especially the underprivileged community in schools in western cape area they serving jesus by serving this underprivileged what a privilege that we have today that he stands here not only as a cricketer but he stands here as a man of god please welcome jp <laughs> Morning everyone. Morning as your fellow Mumbai Indian uh player. <laughs> It's good to be back in Mumbai. I've been uh I guess AWOL for a, a few years playing for Delhi and I'm sure you guys weren't happy with that, but it's good to be back in Mumbai. <laughs> you know, as I was sitting there, uh Pastor mentioned something about Jesus is not a celebrity. is the king of kings and often in this especially in this country most cricketers are treated as gods and it's great to be in a house this morning where i'm not treated like a god but we are serving and praising the ultimate god so i just want to thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning it's it's great to to fellowship with you it's great to be the presence of the lord and You know just I was invited by a good friend Fernando and and Jude and I wasn't actually expecting to speak today but you know to, an opportunity to 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 share one's testimony is a true privilege and you know yeah I am playing in a cricket tournament and having an opportunity in India of all places to share my story it's a true a true true blessing so thank you for that I truly don't want to make today about me. So I'm going to keep it as short as I can, but I came to know the Lord in in 2013. And I grew up in a Catholic church. And for me, having a relationship with God was never the forefront of my faith. I knew God, I knew who he was, but I never really understood the true meaning of what a relationship with God meant. I had played for many years and I'd went through a process where yes I didn't know I knew him but I never but had a relationship with him and I felt that there was a massive gap in my heart and I tried everything 
to try and fill that gap. I tried partying, I tried drinking. And the next day after these big nights, I could never understand why I never filled that gap. But today, I know that the reason why I haven't filled that gap until, until 2013 was the fact that I never knew who Jesus Christ was ultimately. And ever since then, it's, it's been an amazing journey. And, you know, the, to have the opportunity to, to come to a place like India. I had the privilege in Delhi a few years ago to, to share my story at, uh, at a Christian school, a school where there were 3,000 kids. And there I was trying to grasp the fact that God had placed me in a place or a country that is stricken by religion. He had placed me in a country that is overwhelmed by different kinds of, of cultures and, and people. And there I was having the great opportunity of sharing my story. How beautiful is that? But here I am. And, you know, I make mistakes every day. I sin every day. But I have the opportunity when I bow down on my knee as we we're singing the songs today. I have the opportunity to say, Lord, I'm not perfect. I do apologize for the sins that I commit daily, but you forgive me. You have died on the cross for me, and I thank you for that. So today, I just want to say and encourage all of you that it's great to see you guys here praising God and giving Him all the praise. So I thank you for this opportunity to share a small story of, of my life. But the ultimate story is what happened on Calvary, where Christ died for us. And we praise you, God. Thank you. Amen. Shall we all stretch our hands towards him? Father, we release your word upon his life. That you have chosen him to be the light of the world. And you have brought him to Mumbai and you brought him to India. India is the platform of God's glory. Mumbai is the gateway. And we pray from today onwards, your light will shine on that cricket field from today onwards. That you'll bring for that promotion. You'll bring that purpose in his life so that your light will shine in him and through him. We speak your blessing upon him and Lord, his wife Sue and Isabella. Lord, their child, we speak blessing, blessing, blessing. No weapon forms against him will ever prosper. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, every unspoken need be met in Jesus' name. And we pray also, Father, that Proverbs 19, 17, as he serves the underprivileged children, you said, when you serve the underprivileged, you lend them to God, and God shall reward you. I pray from today onwards, there will be increasing rewards. Blessing, 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 promotion, acceleration, in Jesus' precious name. And all God's people said, amen. How many are going to pray for Mumbai, India? Come on. Come on, man. Somebody say amen to that. Love you, man. Hallelujah.